Have you ever wondered what the moon is and why it's so important? Let's dive into some amazing facts about this incredible satellite. Otherwise known as a natural satellite, a moon is any astrological object that orbits a planet. The Earth's Moon The Earth's Moon is made of rock and is around one quarter the size of the Earth. Earth's Moon is the brightest and largest object in our night sky. It is roughly 240,000 miles away from Earth and is the fifth largest satellite in the solar system. Earth and the moon are called natural satellites. The moon is a satellite because it moves around Earth. No light actually comes from the moon. That light is a reflection of sunlight shown to us by the surface of the moon. And what we see depends on the positions of the Earth, moon, and sun. The moon orbits counterclockwise around Earth. It takes almost 28 days for the moon to make this trip. Do you know how long it takes for the Earth to orbit the sun? Three hundred sixty-five days or one year. This means that we only ever see 60% of the moon's surface from Earth. How many moons does each planet have? Saturn has 82 moons. Jupiter, 79. Uranus, 27. Neptune, 14. Pluto, 5. Mars, 2. Earth, 1. Mercury, 0. Venus, 0. The reason that Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Jupiter have more moons than any other planets is because of their strong gravitational pull. According to NASA, in the early days of the solar system, these planets were able to attract lots of space rock and matter towards their planets. Over time, these rocks formed into their multiple moons. Phases of the Moon Moon phases are the amount of moon we see as the month progresses. There are eight phases. New moon, waxing crescent, first quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, third quarter, and waning crescent. Waxing. When the moon is waxing, the right side appears brighter. Waxing phases happen after the new moon. Waning When the moon is waning, the right side appears darker. Waning phases happen after the full moon. Full moon The full moon occurs when Earth is between the sun and the moon. The moon appears to be fully visible. The moon is at its brightest during this phase. Fun facts about the moon. The USA's Apollo 11 spacecraft helped the first men reach the moon in July 1969. The first man to step on the moon was Neil Armstrong. The gravitational forces exerted between the moon and the earth result in tides occurring in the world's oceans and seas. As the moon 
rotates around the Earth approximately once every 27 days, oceans and seas bulge towards it, creating a high tide. While it's on the other side of the world, the opposite happens and a low tide is created. There is no wind on the moon, so there are still human footprints on the lunar surface from the last manned Apollo mission in 1972. Temperatures on the moon can be extreme. When the sun hits its surface, thermometers can rise to up to 260 degrees Fahrenheit. But when the sun goes down, temperatures can plummet down to negative 243 degrees Fahrenheit. Scientists are not certain how the moon was formed, although it is believed that a huge rock smashed into the surface of the Earth 4.5 billion years ago, and the debris it created clumped together to form the moon. Thanks for watching! For more information and resources related to the moon, head to twinkle.com.